Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do one of these double exposures. I'm looking at a sunset and a portrait of Beshley. So to do this we will need two photographs and a gradient background. You can see the photographs here. I will talk you through this quickly so you understand how and what to do. So first things first you need your photograph of a sunset and then you'll need a photograph of a face. Once you've got these two things, if you click on the layer with the face on, you will need to select the subject, which will then create this mask by pressing the layer mask down here. Once you have done that, you can see how the gradient background makes it look really cool. If you're not sure how to do a gradient background, I'll quickly show you how to make one. So I'll just delete that one. Click the plus button, add the layer, drag it to the bottom, click on the gradient tool, make sure you're in black and white, and draw a line upwards. And you've got your gradient background. We will then need to add a few more little effects to our filter. So we go to our layer, make sure we're on black, make sure we've got the paintbrush, make sure the paintbrush is set to a reasonable size about 400, 500, and then we're going to mask out some of these other areas of our face. We've got a really nice blended face like so. And then we're going to add the image of the sunset on top of it. We will then make this layer, the sunset layer, slightly see-through. So we're going to change the opacity just so we can line up where we want it. We can use the move tool, we can move it around to get it however we want it to go. I want it here so I want the sun and the eyes all coming through together like so. Now we need to do one more thing to this image and that is to add a layer mask. Make sure we're on black which is the bit that masks out the colour. Go back to our brush, make it a bit smaller. And slide it down to about 200 and then carefully work out where the eyes are and mask those out by clicking over them like so. Work out where the bottom of the nose is, mask that out as well, and where the side of the face is here, round the mouth, the chin. Around here, like so. So we've got a really nice effect. Once we've done that, we're going to put our opacity back to 100%, and then we're going to use the white mask and a slightly bigger brush to try and fade some of this in a bit so it doesn't look so extreme. And you can see how that's going to work. You might also want to use a bigger brush again and just add a little bit more refinement around the eyes so they look a little bit more realistically blended. The nose. So it's here. And you can see then that we have got our effect. If we want to go back and then switch it back to white, we can add bits here and there as well. Until we get exactly the bits we want masked, how we want them to look. And you can see with this sort of effect, you need to have obviously the photograph of, of the landscape or the sunset on the face. And you apply layer masks to each one to mask out the face and you've masked out the background. Okay, have fun experimenting with this double exposure technique. And if you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave comments and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Quantum Carp to Nature of Flowers. Thank you for watching and goodbye.